My name is Leroy Jones. I wanted to talk about the debate that happened at St. Paul A&E Church recently um, as it relates to the candidates that was running, is running for Miami-Dade County Commission seat District 3. Uh, it was an interesting debate. Uh, I was so happy that I went to be a spectator, just like all the other residents that came out to listen to the debate between County Commissioner Keon Hardiman, former Commissioner Audrey Edmondson, and candidate Amarian Brown. You know, it was interesting that it, it appears to me that I became the subject of the conversation about the debate, not expecting to be uh, a part of the conversation of the debate, but I was. There I was. Um, Commissioner Keon Hardiman uh, called my name out uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, of course, Commissioner Edmondson also uh, made some statements as it relates to me, Leroy Jones, after Commissioner Hardiman did. So I just wanted to clear up a couple of things uh, as it relates to the debate, okay? And the conversation around me. And I want to be fair with the process and everybody. And so I thought the way of the debate is ran is that the people, that is, candidates that is running, get the opportunity to speak about their platform and that anybody that want to ask questions will write it down and give it to the moderator. And the moderator will pick and choose, I guess, whatever questions need to be asked of the candidates. So the uh, Commissioner Hardiman, I brought up how myself, Leroy Jones, was so involved in helping small businesses in the county. And, and, and I, want, I want to thank him for, a, a rec for recognizing my good work in the community. So everybody know me as a person that helps small businesses, so I, I want to thank him for that. I greatly appreciate that. Um, Commissioner Edmondson came back and said she support the, small, the Mom and Pop Small Business Grant Program uh, when she was in office as well. <clears throat> but I just want to say uh, the Mom and Pop Small Business Grant Program was created and started in District 3. Uh, I no longer do the grant program for District 3 uh, because when Commissioner Hardiman came into office, he didn't feel the need to want to use me, uh, use my agency to do the Mom and Pop grant program. And that's okay. I understand. I understand the process. I understand how the political game is being ran. So I understand. No harm about it. Uh, we move on, right? So the conversation came up as it relates to the infield lots. And it's supposed to have been a question from the audience, but that conversation came up. And if correct me, if I'm not wrong, I think I heard Commissioner Hardiman said that he could have took those lots from me, but he didn't. Uh, and I also heard Commissioner Edmondson, Edmondson said that he did take them, but the Board of County Commission voted not to allow him to give them back to me. How about that? Well, this is how it played out. Uh, an item came up before the commission, and Commissioner Hardiman was moving or was having a conversation about taking all the lots back from us. Right? So that is true. So me and a couple of clergy people and other development developers went down to the county, and we voiced our concern about him taking back the lots that was given to us by Audrey Edmondson, Commissioner Audrey Edmondson. And so it even got to a point to where I had to seek legal counsel, not that I wanted to sue the county, because I'm a strong believer that the county legal department is a great department, right? And so it wasn't geared to sue or or bring a lawsuit against the county, it was geared to keep Commissioner Hardiman from taking the lots back from us. 
because that's all we wanted to do. We wanted to finish developing the locks, but that is true. He was um, moving to take the locks back from us, and uh, maybe about a year or so, he agreed and gave us an extension, right? That's after we fought against it. Me, some of the clergy in the community that was given lots fought against it. And, and so now we got a year to develop the 31 lots, or 30 lots, right? And so we can't develop the lots until we get extension because we can't access the funding until we get extension. So in November of 2023, Commissioner Hardiman met with my staff and myself, and he agreed we had made great progress in a year and that he was giving us this extension. And so I got a letter in writing from him, signed by him, granting us an additional extension because we had already started building on some of the infield lots. So we, had, we have right now, we have seven lots, eight lots under construction that we cannot finish the develop because he have not taken the extension to the Board of County Commission to be approved so that we can access the dollars that we was approved for. Okay, so when he said that he wasn't uh, gonna take back the lots, uh, I don't think that was an accurate statement because he was trying to do that. Um, and he also stated that he agreed after we came up with a plan, I think that was his words at the meeting, to give us that ex the second extension because we had got in partnership with a developer or someone that has experience in building. So that you know, we had already started building lots before uh, Commissioner Hardiman came in office. We had some properties already completed and the buyers already living in the properties. And so when he said that I didn't have the experience, well, I don't have to have the experience per se, but I have staff that works at the organization that I work for that have the experience. And in fact, he has done hundreds of affordable units as well as done some uh, commercial um, units as well. So the staff, the, the, the developers that he said that our partnership with after he agreed to give us the extension is not true. It's the same people that helped build the first infield houses that we got that, are still, that is still a part of the team. So I just want to clarify that. That was a statement that was not true. We had already built some of the lots already, some of the housing on the lots. And we're using the same people that was already in place to build the additional lots, housing on the lots that we have. So I just want to clear that up. Another thing he mentioned is that he, he gave me $3.4 million. I want you to know that I don't have the $3.4 million because it was asked of me after the meeting. Someone asked me, did I already have access to the dollars? So no, it was a ordinance or a resolution that was just recently approved for us for $3.7 million, if I'm not correct, if I'm um, not wrong. Not 3.4 million, 3.7. And so that you know, the way that process worked is that we apply for that funding. We completed an application, we submitted all the documentation through the county department, and the county department saw fit that we was eligible to receive the funding, the surtax dollars, to build on the infield lots. So now, the way it works is you have to have a commissioner to sponsor the item to go to the Board of County Commission so that the commissioners can approve, vote yes or no on the item. So he was the sponsor. And let me tell you why he have to be the sponsor because the lots are in his district and he's the commissioner, right? So that's the way it works. He didn't himself say, I'm giving you all this funding for the infield lots. We apply for that funding and was approved for it. He just had to 
sponsor the legislation. And I know all that has to do with timing, the political timing, you know. So it appears to me at the meeting, he wanted people to think that he was helping us or helping me because he mentioned my name, right? But in all reality, all he has done really is try to stop or slow down the process of the things that I have been working on through the organization that I work for. That's what it appears to me, right? And so I just wanted the record to be clear that we apply for that funding. It wasn't nothing necessarily he gave to us. And uh, the department that offered the application of surtax dollars approved our process, but we needed him to sponsor it. And we thank him for sponsoring the legislation and hoping very soon that we can receive those dollars so that we can complete those houses that we're building through the infield housing program so that the people that has already been approved for those lots can move into their houses, okay? So we have people on the waiting list because you can't build unless you have qualified um, borrowers or qualified approved people to move in the house. We need to complete them because all they do doing is holding the people up. Uh, and in most cases, it's his constituents, okay? So our office is located in his district. So the majority of the constituents that we serve, the people that we serve is his constituents, right? So I want the record to be clear that one, uh, I thank the commissioner, Commissioner Hardiman for saying how, how the, how I've been a guru, that's not his words, but in so much how I've been real active in helping small businesses with grant funding. So I thank him for that. Two, uh, about the uh, $3.4 million that he mentioned, uh, he didn't necessarily uh, said he going to give us the money. We apply for that, but we thank him for approving or sponsoring the resolution so that we can get the dollars. Three, we hope he follow up with his commitment and give us this extension. My understanding is that it's supposed to go before the BCC committee meeting in September. And we cannot access the dollars that we have been approved for to build the housing on the infield lots until the Board of County Commission approve the extension for the lots. So I just wanted to clear the record up uh, I hope I didn't misinterpret what he said. Um, any of that information, if you want to prove if it's correct, all you have to do um, is like the the uh, moderator said at the meeting was uh, fact check it. Uh, go to the county, go on the county website, or you can call me and you can come to our office and I can show you the documentation. Okay, and you can also see the commission meeting where he was fighting to take the lots back from us and me and some of the clergies uh, um, speaking back with him or the Board of County Commission while we should keep ownership, uh, retain ownership of those lots. So I just want to clear those things up. Um, I hope and everybody that was at that debate get a chance to see this uh, because at the end of the debate, somebody also said to me, Leroy, you playing both sides as if, as if I'm helping Commissioner Audrey Edmondson and helping Commissioner Keon Hardiman. Uh, you all know what I'm talking about, the, this race that's uh, happening now. And so I don't play both sides. So I hope that people would understand that I'm not a petty person. Right, and I give credit where credit is due, but several several of the things that uh, Commissioner Keon Hardiman said was not accurate and was not true. So I, I don't know if it was his real intent um, to not to be um, to not to give the right information out, or. He was misled with the information or just wasn't sure. But I'm willing to 
back up everything that I said as it relates to the funding, as it relates to the extensions, I'm willing to back that. So because my name came up at a debate, Leroy Jones, the individual, I'm speaking as Leroy Jones, the individual. I'm asking all my supporters to support Audrey Edmondson for Miami-Dade County Commission District 3. I support Audrey Edmondson, and I'm asking all my supporters to support Audrey Edmondson as your county commissioner for District 3 again. Thank you.